Hello, hello everybody. This is me, Aris Kapuram, and this is my take on the global canvas scheme and challenge for extreme environments in Minecraft. So let's start with this. This is a small memorial house. We are like just for you know, no, just for fun. So like I just created the names of two people, Andrew and Amy, who first started this uh, town. Yeah, just a small, just to give it a small story. So then this is just start. This, these are this is the part that, that takes it to the entrance. So welcome to Barsville. That's the name of my yeah, a town. So you can enter from here. And there's a path that takes you, and and already you can see the geothermal power plant and the hanging villa from the top. And this is yeah, that's not for us. And as you enter, you can see a few lodges, a hospital, and uh, this is the hospital bank come library. It's pretty, kind of small, but then you know that's what you can expect from a small mountain region. This is the first uh, home. It's pretty warm and cozy in there. This is the second lodge, again warm and cozy. Does not have a heating system though. Does not have a fireplace, but does have a heating system. All electricity works over here. As you can see, there are pylons connected to trippers that act like electricity poles. So this is the geothermal power plant, which has the main signal tower too. And uh, look, there is a main over electricity wire going out. So this is a control room, which has all the switches, dials, buttons and knobs and stuff. Sorry, it wasn't that accurate. And this leads to the other um, well, section of the power plant. And these are the stairs that lead down and these are the multiple electric wires that lead to different houses. So actually the first few houses that they built actually had like individual like, you know, these kind of things so that they could get power from the so they could get electricity from the power line but then later i came up with like the idea that uh, of shared energy so like uh, there are houses so like there are houses jo with power with wires joining each other so that uh, so the power grid could be shared more evenly and not resulting in a trick Yeah, so I was speaking. So I was speaking. So I made a power, a shared power grid, so that like everybody could get even access to the uh, to electricity. It's snowing pretty hard right now. And look, I even like uh, put, I even spawned chickens over here, like this small poultry farm kind of thing, so that like it could I could collect eggs and then the beetles would be there, so the chickens could eat. A chicken could eat. Sorry. And this is my farm. The crops are still growing. Like, like I made, I made a small step farm kind of thing, and this is a campfire area. Like four or two people can sit together and they can talk and enjoy because it's really cold and it's, and campfires keep you warm. This is a helipad. I, I don't know why I put campfires. I think just to signal that the the helipad is over here. But then there are like a hundred and fifty million campfires right next to it. So I don't. So I think the helicopter guys. I think the pilots are gonna get confused. But still, you could see it from pretty far away. But then, Minecraft is not realistic, so there'd be like severe haze and and snowstorms and like that. So then, it wouldn't be visible. That's why strobe lights are the best. And uh, this is uh, where my fresh water comes from. You can, as you can see, this is the fresh water pump that gets all the water from here. Sorry, I didn't know how to make wires. Pipes and stuff like that in Minecraft, so I just use concrete blocks. And this fresh water will never run out because it got, because because of the 1.17 update, like there is the caves got a hundred times larger. So not like even if this town would have lasted for 50 years, like a hundred years, it wouldn't run out. And like I uh, know these are I didn't place these. These are I found these naturally, and especially this vein of coal. Ah, just kidding. I, I placed these ones by myself, but only a few though. The other, the emeralds were there, but gold and uh, diamond I placed a few of them. And there was even this vein of coal. There's this roof so that the miners could work peacefully. 
without worrying about rain falling on their heads and causing severe landslides. This is a backup generator over here. Tesla batteries, I like Tesla a lot. <coughs> a few solar panels, sorry, you can't tilt stuff in Minecraft. And it's really unrealistic. Again, this is the main uh, like sign antenna tower for Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Again, Tesla. What do you call those? No, wait. Stry yeah, Starlink. It is a Starlink because this is so remote. It's like kilometers away from anything else. So, like each and every house have their individual ones. Also, a few of them are shared. Like they're shared across other houses, but I don't think it's that safe. But look at this, this tiny house over here has, its, has an independent like a wi Wi-Fi antenna but then this house doesn't and even the library doesn't. So I think the power plant and library and a few other houses have to get internet shape from here. Again, there are central heating systems in homes, um, um, you know, like the furnaces, no, I don't, I shouldn't call it furnace. I think it would be better if I made it in the furnace. Like, see? You can actually go inside and find a, a campfire inside. Which acts like, um, you know. Imagine Santa Claus coming in. He wouldn't be able to go, go inside the house. Oof. <coughs> and so there's another one over here. But the others have heating systems based on electricity. Of course, you can't make all that in Minecraft. But just, you know. Yeah, I got two more eggs. Yeesh. Yeesh, these chickens are giving me a lot of eggs. So, like, this whole town is self sufficient. So, like, e each and every house has its own furniture. So, like, look at this, it has furniture inside it, even as a TV set. This, uh, this house is pretty empty. Beware of the electric wires. The standard 110 volts. But I don't think anybody could reach that high. Because like in Minecraft, a person is 2 meters high. It's totally unrealistic. There's another tiny house. No, there's nothing inside here. It's a, it's a design of the house itself. As you can see. I think it would be much better if it was blended with the cliff. But then, you know, I just built randomly. And then, like, there are these wooden decks that hang out the side so that building could, so the house could be. I don't know what this was meant for. I think it was like, I think before, like, I tried making it into a shower and then, like, no, like, where you could kind of collect water from. Because, like, I, because I thought that this was such a harsh environment, I wanted to make it, like, look like such a harsh environment. There's no running, there were running water to houses was impossible. So like yeah I got to fix that now. I don't think this serves any use, but then let's just keep it like that. It it will get frozen anyways. And I put wool on my lamp post so that like, lamp posts and st an electric pylon so that you know like snow wouldn't fall on them and do stuff. Of course on this snow wouldn't be able to fall because it's like so thin, but in real life you know it's completely different. So I think like a hundred people could live over here. The campfire, helicopter, and spy. I think it has like average, uh, you know, like you know. I think it's more like a base camp sort of thing. No, not exactly base camp, but it would be a good uh, tourist spot. Okay, let's go back to the memorial house and thank these two people. Which is more or less me because I built it for founding the city and now we'll look at the aerial view I hope the judges will give a proper um, you know score on this because like there's a whole geothermal power plant there are paths to each and every house there's a heliport and it's almost self-sufficient because it won't because not only doesn't it have its own food source it also has working power, it has all, also has working water and taps. And it all and an almost endless supply of water.
there's a forest nearby over there, so maybe like the first. So like, just make a small. Let's just make a small history about this. The first people who came here built that log cabin over there, which is now the memorial. They started walking around and they found this. And they found the forest. They decided to go. Decided to cut some trees. That's why there's a big clearing over here. And then they decided to build a few log cabins and a few uh, and a bed. And that was the first log cabin that they built. Then, like as more people discovered this place and they invited more people, they made another log cabin. And then they, they decided to go check to the summit of the house, or the summit of the mountain. But they didn't make a you know a flag over there. And then they made more. The ones with mostly the central heating systems are the ones that came first. So again, this is the one which also came, and then they realized that they needed water and power. So like they built, so the first they used campfires for like lighting, and then they got water from here. They used to manually go down and thrust the staircase. But then later a generator was installed, and they discovered that there was coal over here. So then they started the whole thing, and then now. Th they brought chickens over there. They brought chicken over there, which gave them a good food supply. They also started uh, uh, grow, um, farming and stuff. They made a whole campfire spot and a helipad at first, which was pretty basic, but then got more advanced. The power station also got pretty advanced, and then more houses were built. A Tesla bat a battery area was installed so that like like power could be stored in case the main grid went out. And then more houses got built again, and then uh, better houses came. It's like the first house with the TV set, but then other houses got them also. And then Wi-Fi slowly got installed, and then you know, people got working working sig signal, uh, s signals. Like, I don't know which carrier, but uh, maybe Airtel would be good. Just like the log cabin uh, hanging off the side of the mountain. Uh, still has to be furnished, but for now it's pretty good. It's a good, it's a good town. It's a livable place, but then you have to wear your jackets whenever you go up. And that there will be like endless snows. The snow would never stop. So I actually figured how to use stripper hooks as electricity pylons. But then the problem was when you put it right next to doors, it would activate them. So then I had to change the locations of, of many doors. And the reason for that small, of that large deck above the mining area was so that miners wouldn't have snow and rain getting pelted onto their heads while they were doing their work. So I just made this. There's also a viewing platform just to look, just to look at the town. Even from the far end of the, you know, town. You'll be still able to see the power plant, which is pretty good. Because then you know that you're not getting lost. The campfires would normally go out if there was snow or something like that. And it's I think it's not good if it was wood or something like that. Because wood, once it gets wet, you can't use it anymore. Unless you like dry it a lot. And there's a bank and stuff. It's still under development though. I don't know why I put ladders because it was too small to uh, put stairs. Just like so they could do your work and stuff. And this is the ATM. I wanted to create a keyboard, but it was practically impossible. And there are some displays, cash balance, and oof. I'm really bad at making. I wish I installed a few mods and stuff. They could have working cars and uh, helicopters and stuff. I actually used to have it, but then by mistake I installed Minecraft, so I lost all the apps from which I downloaded the mods and stuff. This is like a small hospital bed. There are not many like you know you could get vaccinated for a few things, get bandits and first aid stuff, but nothing more than that because it's so like rural. Rural, even a helicopter uh, comes rarely unless like you wanted to uh, charter one yourself. This um, village is kind of really away from all amenities. So people over here learn to be self-sufficient. They got their own farm. They have their own chicken farm and stuff. They have their own chicken stuff. 
Like people can go in and all the collectors. Why are they giving it so fast? So that's yeah. Giving a lot of eggs. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, like what? Did you just throw that out? No, I deleted it for somehow. So yeah, I'm playing this on iPad. I think it's 1.17. I forgot to update. I think I updated. Who knows? But yeah, I'm going on to the power plant and then ending this video with a nice scenic view of the whole town. And the reason why it took me 6 hours to build this is because my iPad screen protector isn't good. It keeps on registering like uh, a single touch 10 times. No, I'm not, I'm not kidding. If I took a concrete block and placed it right now, it would place it 10 times. Yeah, so I think it's already pretty long after this video. Bye.